Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? We checking out the frequent flyer. Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, I like to extend a warm welcome. And so I'm back out here at the park I like to fly at with another drone, y'all. And I actually got this newly built little quad right here, little brushless micro or nano, if you want to call it on this little baby turtle frame from CNC drones. This had a quick little appearance on one of the videos that I had recently. And uh, I was talking about building out this frame possibly. And what I did was, it was originally an HD Zero Mobula 6 HD. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, I. Uh, did a little Frankenstein job on this little quad. Let me show you. This is one of the frames that I had. I actually bumped it up to a seven millimeter frame. And so uh, this was the frame that I used. And I actually just took one of these and cut it right here. I cut that little part in between there. And I cut here and here all around. And then I cut these two on each uh, hoop there right there so all of the ducks I had removed and it left me with this little piece on the bottom here <laughs> and so I just added that to the bottom of the turtle frame the baby turtle and I just ditched the uh, top of the frame because come to find out that this frame needs a 3d printed part to complete the build and all so I had to figure out something with it and so this is what I came up with I used the original um, canopy here from the HD zero Woo, and I just used that little cutout battery part under there and used the original screws and everything I didn't have to remove any of the motors or anything I didn't have to de do any desoldering or anything I was going to do the build with the little um, flight controller from beta FPV that I have but the only problem with that was I was having issues with the motor plugs the motor plugs or sockets or whatnot didn't really fit this frame well and now I'm thinking I probably can still do it by using this bottom part here so I think I will do that use the uh, bottom part here I might cut that other frame out and cut the bottom battery holder out and use it on the bottom and then use that beta FPV frame inside there and just have the camera and VTX on top another thing with this little guy is the little motors that I have on it they didn't fit on top and so I had to do some stuff <laughs> to get this thing to work all the way so I had to make this a pusher Put the motors on the bottom i had to change the motor direction and beta flight and you know all of the different things that you have to do to get this thing working right and so now everything is working it seemed to be working when i did a test flight indoors <clears throat> i never really flew it around too hard i only have grommets on the top i don't have any grommets on the bottom which is the flight controller so I was worried about vibration coming through there I think when I do this build over this is just a prototype here but I think when I do the build over I'm going to use the grommets on the bottom like I need to I was having troubles with the screws being long enough and all and so hopefully I can find some longer screws and uh, hopefully this thing doesn't vibrate too much when I uh, take off with it because I didn't actually fly with it and I think it'll probably do better um, once I put it in acro because uh, mainly I think the vibrations is going to affect the self leveling and everything the most so hopefully it'll be okay let's get this guy up in the air 
All right, so I moved over here to this little bench. So at least I can sit down with this little guy. Hopefully I can take off with no problem with it being a pusher and all. I didn't do any changes or anything as far as, uh, as far as the um, rates or the pigs. The pigs are still the same. Sheesh, it's always something with this. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have to fly a line of sight to test it. Then once I uh, get this memory card situation straightened out, I can fly the FPV, but let's try one more time to see if it's gonna record the FPV feed. Still an issue, so I'm just gonna to have to fly this guy line of sight to test it. Check it. What's up? Sounds weird, but it's flying. I'm in angle mode right now. So let's try a little punch out with it. So not bad power. Let's go in acro. We're in acro now. So it's flying. Guess I can do some FPV with this guy. Definitely have to change the rates. And this sounding a little weird. I'm thinking maybe once I get the grommets on it and all, it'll probably be quiet down. Bring it back front and center. Squirrels are throwing nuts or something down at me. <laughs> Look at the y'all. See, that's the y'all speed I got right there. So I'm gonna have to change the pigs if I keep it this way. I really wish these things had a buzzer on them. <laughs> I'm a big fan of active buzzers seem like we're moving away from those but I still love them now because when you're flying line of sight like this you can hear it beeping with the motors uh, beeping you can only beep the motors when it's not flying when the motors aren't busy flying so it has to be on the ground for one and as a lost model alarm I think the motor beeps are too quiet active buzzer is much more louder so I think this is awesome <laughs> not a whole lot of power with it and all but I'm thinking once I uh, I'm able to swap the motors out and put the motors on top. I can use slightly larger props. I had to stick with these smaller props because the battery is down there. But up top, I can use the slightly larger ones. I don't think I could do a power loop. Let's see. Yep. Pulled it off. <laughs> I don't know if I got it on cam though. Let's try it again. Another power loop. <laughs> I'm not going to fly it too long because I can't tell where the battery is at on it. So let's bring it in. <laughs> the little CNC baby turtle frame hybrid mixed with, uh, I think this was a beta FPV frame and an HD0 Mobula six canopy and everything with the whoop light system little gmb 520 milliamp hour this is a high voltage pack but i only have this light bulb charged up to normal voltage oh i do have 
the BT 2.0 connector on there. And so that's it. A pretty awesome little build, I think. We'll try FPV next time. Thanks for watching.